And so I'm using solar energy to heat up these two large tanks. And what these are, are 10 foot wide by 14 foot long tanks, each one of them four feet deep. If they were filled all the way to the tippy top, that's 4,198 gallons in each one of the tanks. We've got our trough delivering a two inch pipes worth of artesian well water into our first tank back here. That's our big primary cold tank. It comes out of the very center of that tank. You can see the flow coming across right there out of the center into our secondary tank. And from this second tank, since this water system comes out of my sub irrigation for our field, what I've done here is we've got an output with a screen, obviously, to keep the fish in it. So we've got the one inch, I'll show you, that goes off to our water ram and to our greenhouse. Uh, that water trough that's underneath the boards there is our main flow out of the tank. That goes right back out into our sub-irrigation to our field, to the asparagus field. And I'll show you that later on. Right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and follow the black pipe down to our water ram and then show you what the water ram's doing. Down out of the aquaculture building, running all the way down here to our water ram. Let me go ahead and show you what we've got going on. See the water ram running right there. Now we've got our output line coming out of that. But way down there, you can see our water ram I just showed you. There's the output pipes running all the way up the hill right here. So that output pipe comes up, goes up over the rafter, and into that sprinkler head right there. So all the pressure that's rotating that sprinkler or the sprays that are coming out of it, it's all being generated by our water ram with no electricity whatsoever. And that sprinkler right now all by itself with just the water ram for pressure is reaching both the upper and the lower trays of uh, vegetables we have here in the greenhouse. This is a 28 by 14 greenhouse. The entire thing is being watered without any extra effort from me by that one sprinkler. It's got three different heads coming off of it. So it's able to hit a really nice area all the way around as it rotates. Let me go ahead now and walk inside and just kind of show you what's going on. This is the far corner over here and you can, as I stand still, you should be able to see the drops hitting stuff all the way across. So the sprinkler's hitting all the way to our far edge. You've got uh, asparagus, baby asparagus is red leaf lettuce. You've got some kind of ice lettuce here. We've got purple cabbage down there with more asparagus. This entire greenhouse is really devoted to asparagus and in between the asparagus I'm growing some vegetables obviously. The water ram powering our sprinkler now out of the aquaculture building so we've got basically fish water being delivered throughout our greenhouse. This entire system is self-sustaining other than the work you got to put in to put seeds and thin out and all the rest of it. But the energy required for this is all being delivered or supplied by either the sun or flowing water from an artesian well. And this is what I have at the back side of the greenhouse is I have 50 huckleberry plants that are ready to go. I've got another 2,000 on the way. We're going to go ahead and set these up out in the field right next to the asparagus. So we'll have a huckleberry and asparagus farm. Later on it'll take a few years to establish it all. But once it's going, all of these should provide us a nice healthy source of food that comes back every year just like the asparagus.